can we just go all out? Time's useless. That was so easy! Here's a nasty one! Get ready for anything! Something up! Remember to keep a sharp. You know, at first I wasn't comfortable with fighting, but recently I've gotten quite used to it. Oh yeah? Well, you have been fighting a lot, huh? It looks like you're still wasting energy with some unnecessary movements, though. I always try hard to think of what I should do next, but somehow I just can't get things right. Maybe you think it too hard? If you fight more on a gut level, your body might respond more fluidly. On a gut level? I see. So I just need to follow my instincts. You think maybe she misunderstood what we were saying? Maybe, but I think she'll figure things out. This one. Get ready for anything. That wasn't too bad.
start. It doesn't seem fair. Pushing it. Item. item names? Yes, I'm working on the collector's book. Look how many items we have already. Wow, you filled in a lot. It must be fun since you like books so much. Well, keep up the good... No, from what I can see, yes. It looks like it's only about halfway complete. What? H halfway? Keep on working on it and come back when you've made some real progress. Ah! I'll fill this book up all the way and then I'll make you eat your words. Didn't this used to be your book, Rita? We will not go easy on you! Wasn't too bad.
goodbye. Guess practice makes me. I have mastered. So his family was killed by the Intellikea. Clint, was it? The grudge he's got against them won't fade anytime soon. Maybe he has his reasons, but I think just hunting monsters has been his purpose for a while. I was like him once. I only lived to destroy Blastia. But you've grown since then. Then maybe he can still change, like you did, Judith. I don't know. Either way, we've got our own goals to worry about. Right, Carol? Huh? Yeah, you're right! Wasn't too bad. Train by night. 
fights. I won't lose. so mysterious here. Almost like a fantasy novel. I like it here. Are you serious? It'd be even nicer if these sparkling crystals weren't hurting my eyes so much. Oh, I've already gotten used to that. Hmm? Well, now that you mention it, it's not really bothering me either. I guess I'm okay with it. Huh? Yeah, me too. What? You mean I'm the only one who's still getting blinded here? Alright, let's get back to the task at hand. I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. <laughs> I'm ready for more. I feel so left out. You picked the wrong people to fight with. <sighs> Old Goosey turned into Gnome safe and sound. That's a load off. Yes. It would have been tragic if he'd transformed into an autophagos. Yeah, he's just fulfilling the role he was meant to play. I doubt he ever thought that his transformation might have caused the cataclysm itself. I feel for the poor Entelikea who became autophagos in the past. If only they'd had the option of spirit conversion. Young lady, don't dwell too much on all the what-ifs. Maybe they didn't have a choice. But those who became autophagos are trying to devour this world. That is the reality. I know. But it's just so sad.
flying. Any idiot could come along and take him out. He couldn't put up a fight like this. It's probably so humans won't get his apatheia. Human greed knows no bounds. Even the sky offers no sanctuary. Then there really isn't anywhere that's safe. Pharaoh! Hey! He's landing! I it looks like he's... calling us. Let's go. Pharaoh? Pharaoh, come on! I'm sorry. It was all for us. What do you mean? Pharaoh was a decoy for us at Zaude. The fate of the world is set. We shall meet our end. Duty unfulfilled. How unfortunate. You give up pretty fast for someone who fought for so long. Sorry, but things aren't over yet. Zaude is lost. The Adefagos has returned. Neither humans nor we possess the power of old. What more can be done? There's still hope. There's a new power. We would like you to become a spirit. A being that can control air even more. But to do that, we need your apatheia. You ask me to hand over my life. <sighs> your heart alone cannot save the world. But you must have the heart to save it. I am not long for this world. What if he doesn't help us when he becomes a spirit? Pharaoh loves the world. It'll be fine. Shall we? But the air crane here is all dried up. If I follow the flow of the air back, I should be able to pull it from within the world. Are you sure? Undine is telling me that. Okay. It worked! Hey, 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 hey! Hot, hot, hot! The Spirit of Fire. Terrible fire. The Blazing One, Ifrit. I am now connected strongly to the world. And all seems new again. Even this wasteland is filled with power. <laughs> Wonderful! Hey! He flew away! Hey! Where are you off to? Fear not. We are bound to you. Wherever you go, we are with you. The Intelikea and the Child of the Full Moon bear spirits. Nature's providence is great indeed. Man, they are so different before and after becoming spirits. They have totally different points of view. It's like, imagine if a fish became a bird. This is better for them than being some sage, always worrying about the world.
You know, we're up to our eyeballs in problems. Saving the world sure keeps a guy busy. Well, the problems we're dealing with are a lot bigger than they used to be. What? Why is everybody looking at me? I got something on my face? Problems like you, Yuri. A lot. I hear that. Fate is definitely out to get you. <laughs> After everything that's happened, I'm starting to wonder myself. But hey, I've done a pretty good job of getting us out of whatever mess we're in, right? You gotta at least give me some credit there. See, for Yuri, the end of the world's just one more problem that needs solving. Maybe that attitude's what's kept us seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Gotta love the power of positive thinking. <laughs>